Day two of the Republican National Convention featured Kerry Lake with a dangerous authoritarian warning to the media, which we will get to in a moment. And it included Ron DeSantis, who is fully kissing the ring, showing up, trying to appear as though he is a normal human capable of normal human emotions. One of the most, I would even say the most pathetic speech so far from the first couple days of the Republican National Convention that will uh, crescendo on Thursday night with the speech from Donald Trump, the Republican nominee accepting the nomination is Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis, as you know, has struggled for a long time to appear to uh, exhibit normal human emotions. He tried out a new forced smile last night. As many of you know, he has struggled to have a sort of uh, real seeming smile. I understand there's a strong visual component here. Uh, I'm going to play 10 seconds and you'll hear what he says. But the most important part maybe is his uh, very forced uh, attempt at a smile. Public and state. Something very odd about this guy. He then talked about the definition of a woman while his voice cracked. And you you just you really can't write this stuff. Take a listen to this guy. They can't even define what a woman <laughs> is. All right, let me <laughs> let me play that one once more for you. They can't even define what a woman is. He also bizarrely licked his lips the entire speech and the act like a real person training sessions have not been working particularly well. Again, I understand, you know, for our for our audio uh, 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 listeners, this uh, you're lacking the visual component. But just imagine him licking his lips for 14 seconds here. All right. So just absolutely bizarre in every way. And then finally, Ron DeSantis claiming that the woke mind virus finally has been killed in Florida. They've gotten it. It's dead. The left is in retreat. Freedom reigns supreme. The woke mind virus is dead. And Florida is a solid Republican state. And then they would regularly cut to Trump during these speeches, during which Trump would just exhibit kind of like a doofy smile. So listen, um, Nikki Haley showing up and full throatedly endorsing Donald Trump, despite previously saying he is completely unfit to serve and should not have anything to do with the Oval Office. I'm not even going to bother playing Nikki Haley's speech. It's just as sycophantic as the sanctimonious is in all of them. Then Ron DeSantis showing up and doing his normal. I'm a person sort of stuff, kissing the ring despite all of the criticisms he made of Donald Trump. What is it that is going on here? Because it is being framed as unity. It's obvious unity in the Republican Party. I think it's just brazen opportunism, which is that at the end of the day, they're all willing to say whatever they think they need to say to win. And then when they lose, they're all willing to say whatever it is they think to say to continue being given access to power. Uh, and it doesn't really matter what they truly believe. Now, what do they truly believe? I think they mostly believe Trump's a buffoon, much like J.D. Vance. And we have even more audio now unearthed of J.D. Vance's real opinion of Donald Trump, which we'll get to later. I think DeSantis deep down thinks Trump's a buffoon. I think Nikki Haley deep down knows Trump is a buffoon. The only exception really may be Carrie Lake, who genuinely seems to think that this guy is quite literally God's gift to American politics. I want to talk about her speech next. For a long time, when I had a computer problem, I'd go on YouTube and Reddit and try to figure it out. And it seemed like the advice that is given 95% of the time is download malware bytes and that'll clean everything up for you. So I have been using malware bytes in real life for years, long before they became a sponsor, simply because malware bytes is way more than just an antivirus, it catches things other antivirus programs miss 
With malware bytes, you have comprehensive real time protection against malware, spyware, other malicious attacks that could jeopardize your privacy and personal data. It can detect and remove existing malware already on your devices with its best in class free scan, which is something traditional antiviruses lack. And now you can get identity theft protection as part of a bundle to keep your family's personal information safe with live monitoring, alerts, recovery assistance, and up to a million dollars in identity theft protection. Malware Bytes has a special deal they're doing just for the David Pakman show. You can get any Malware Bytes subscription for 50% off. That's half off at malwarebytes.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.